What are sea monkeys? Whether you've seen them on social media, your favourite cartoon, or perhaps even in comic books back in the 1970s and 80s, you've probably been left scratching your head at some point wondering, what exactly are they? And do they work? Or are they just a scam? For the last 60 years, sea monkeys have been advertised and sold to children as an instant pet. Usually with the promise of these pink anthropomorphic creatures springing to life inside a small plastic tank. But for anybody who's actually bought sea monkeys, you'll know this isn't quite accurate. Though somehow, this is actually a rare example where reality is even stranger than fiction. To get to the bottom of this, it's important to first understand how sea monkeys work. A kit usually comes with a small plastic tank and the three pouches needed to start and feed a sea monkey colony. The process is quite straightforward. You add 12 ounces of water into their tank and then add in packet number one, the water purifier. This sachet mostly contains salt, but unbeknownst to the children who are usually the ones doing this, it also contains some sneaky sea monkey eggs. It usually takes at least 24 hours for sea monkeys to hatch though, so by the time you add in packet number two, the instant live eggs, one day later, you get the impression that the tiny sea monkey babies you actually put into the tank yesterday have instantly hatched right before your very eyes. It's a simple piece of trickery, and yet it's been wildly effective at fooling and absolutely captivating the minds of children for over half a century. Baby sea monkeys are absolutely tiny, only around one millimeter or one twentieth of an inch long, though they do grow very quickly. It only takes around three or four weeks for them to reach adulthood when feeding from packet number three, the sea monkey growth food. What's really remarkable is how much these guys change as they grow. In their early Norplia stage, they look very simple with a small body and a couple of pairs of antennae which are used for both swimming and sensing their environment. Though as they become teenagers, 11 new pairs of legs begin to grow out of their thorax. This allows the sea monkeys to move more elegantly through the water and they become much faster swimmers too. By the time they reach adulthood, the sea monkeys have grown over 20 times in size. They've undergone sexual differentiation too, where the males have large clasping antennae on their heads, and the females have become elongated with a large egg sac that develops near the top of their abdomen. So, clearly sea monkeys are real animals. But where do they come from? And how can their eggs sit on the shelf of a toy store for years and yet somehow still hatch? What's going on here is an incredible trick of nature, and also very clever marketing. You see, sea monkeys also go by another name that you might be more familiar with, brine shrimp. They're a small aquatic crustacean that naturally exist in hypersaline pools and lakes all over the world. The thing with these salty lakes though, is that they're often ephemeral, meaning they only exist seasonally for short periods before completely drying up. The sea monkeys, or brine shrimp that inhabit them, have evolved an incredible adaptation to survive these periods of drought. It's called cryptobiosis. If a pregnant female brine shrimp senses a sharp rise in the salinity of her habitat, she'll encase her developing babies in a corian-coated cyst. These cysts can survive complete desiccation for decades, and incredibly, still hatch once they're rehydrated in warm salty water. In the late 1950s, the founder of Sea Monkeys, Harold von Braunhut, was on the lookout for the next novelty product he could sell to the mass market. During this time, ant farms had surged in popularity and had quickly become a toy store favourite, but they came with one serious downside. You had to source the ants for yourself, and depending on where you lived, that wasn't always easy to do. One day Harold was at a pet store, and he noticed a tank full of brine shrimp which were being sold as a live food source for aquarium owners, who often bought them to feed to their pet fish. It was then that Harold had his brilliant idea. He realised that he could create his own aquatic version of the ant farm, but rather than ants, he'd use brine shrimp, which he renamed and marketed as sea monkeys. The idea was actually very simple. All he had to do was put the dried eggs into some small packets with salt, and then they could be shipped anywhere in the world, and the eggs would hatch as soon as they were put into water. The idea was genius, and it fixed the problem that ant farms couldn't. Not only could Harold ship a small aquarium to keep your sea monkeys in, but he could also ship the sea monkeys themselves. It didn't take long for them to take off, in part due to Harold's brilliant idea to advertise them in comic books, bypassing the parents and going straight to his younger target demographic, but also because of how unique the life cycle of sea monkeys are. Their amazing trick to hatch instantly from dried eggs amazed those who saw them in comic books 60 years ago, just as it does today. 
So, are sea monkeys a scam? Well, perhaps their marketing is a little misleading, sure, but the product itself is an incredible marvel of nature, and it definitely lives up to the hype.